Hey guys, Steve with Fly Fly Drones here. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, a new one today around DJI Assistant 2. Uh, DJI Assistant 2 is the app that we use to connect our aircraft to the computer and make some changes to it. Uh, they released a new version and they removed our ability to open up the dev console, set the debug value, and so we've basically lost our ability to make mods uh, in the latest version of Go, or not Go, but uh, Assistant. So for many of you that are familiar with that, uh, the process, you basically go in, you edit the main.js file, you look for this uh, the dev console, you remove the two slashes, you save the file. Uh, if you need to, save it as administrator. Um, after that, when you open up Assistant, then the dev console opens on the right. Uh, that's that <clears throat> frame on the right there where you can edit the debug value to, uh, to B1. And we can go up and we can modify different parameters. <coughs> and so uh, what's going on is in the latest version of the Assistant release, they've changed it so we can no longer uh, make those modifications. And so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uninstall the current version. Uh, we're going to go to the website. We're going to download the latest version, let you guys see what that looks like, um, and then we'll show you how to uh, to get out of it. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uninstall, delete the uh, the DJI folder here. Sometimes it leaves files behind uh, just to make sure we got a clean install. Uh, we'll go over to DJI's website. You'll see here on their download page, they've got the new version of the DJI Assistant 2, version 1.1.6. Uh, it's available for both Windows and Mac. I highly recommend uh, avoiding it for the time being. Uh, you know, it was really interesting as I was doing the test here, you guys. Uh, my antivirus software kept detecting the file here, and it didn't really like it. Uh, and so we had to, you know, basically go in and trust it in the antivirus software. So either the file is just really, really new, or maybe they're doing some sneaky things. Even the antivirus software doesn't like what they got going on here. So um, I just thought that was really interesting. Rather than uh, cut it out of the video, I thought I'd just leave it in here and let you guys see what the, the whole experience was like. You can see here I've uh, downloaded it, I ran it. Uh, and then Norton basically detected it and said, hey, this file has got some fucky things going on. So uh, we're just going to hit run this program anyway. Uh, well, I don't necessarily trust EGI. We're going to trust them in this case. So except the EULA, we'll go ahead and install this sucker. Again, this is the uh, the new version, the 1.1.6, downloaded from DJI's website just now. Uh, after we uh, install it here, we're going to open up the app, see if we can get into bug mode. Um, and then we'll take a look and see if the main.js file exists, which we'll actually see it's missing, uh, which is one of the big ways that they've, they've removed our ability to make mods. So uh, we're done here. We've got it installed. Um, got the DJI Assistant here. I'll go ahead and open up the, uh, the file explorer. We'll go into the Assistant 2 folder, App Files. You'll see here the main.js file, the file that we usually edit, uh, it's gone. Um, and so there's really no way to edit that file now, now that we've, uh, we've done the install. If I open up the, um, the program, we're not going to have the dev console on the right here. Um, it's really unfortunate, um, but I get it. You know, I totally get it. So, you know, on the latest version, they, they locked us down. So people in the community are working on it. Um, there's a way to extract that file. They basically put it in a larger compressed file. Um, you can basically pull it out, edit it, put it back in, repack it. Uh, but what happens is, is when you open up the assistant, the dev console flashes like this, and then it goes away. Uh, I'll show you again one more time what happens. You open it, the dev console flashes, and then it just immediately goes away. It's like that frame is completely hidden. And so for now, uh, what I would recommend is stay on the older version of, uh, of Assistant 2. If you need to download it, uh, I'll have a link for it in the comments. Um, but yeah, basically just stay where you're at for now, guys. Um, once the, the community comes through, uh, they'll probably figure out a way to, to work around this. But just for now, stay on the old version. You'll be able to do the mod you need to. All right, guys, take care. Bye.